Hello everyone, my name's John and I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes some years ago and I'm here to tell you my story and some things about type 2 diabetes you may not know. You've just seen the prevalence statistics for diabetes. We all know that this epidemic is having an overwhelming impact on society and healthcare spending worldwide. So why is this often preventable, manageable illness causing such devastation? The answer lies in truly understanding how the whole body is affected by diabetes. The heart, blood vessels, brain, kidneys, liver, eyes and nervous system. And that is why I'm here. The hormone insulin plays an important role in controlling blood glucose. Insulin allows sugar, glucose, to enter cells of the body from the bloodstream where it is used as energy, such as in muscle or brain cells, or stored, such as in liver or fat cells. Type 2 diabetes occurs when insufficient insulin is released or the body is unable to use insulin properly. This can lead to an insulin secretion deficiency or insulin resistance, which plays a key role in developing hyperglycemia or elevated blood glucose and eventually type 2 diabetes. As a result of hyperglycemia, Glucose accumulates in the bloodstream, causing acute diabetic symptoms such as tiredness, blurred vision, thirst, and frequent urination. But diabetes is also a chronic lifelong condition and thus requires careful control. Without proper management, damage may occur to widespread bodily functions. These are termed microvascular complications, which can affect the eyes, feet, and kidneys, or macrovascular complications, which could affect the brain or the heart. Microvascular complications of diabetes can impair eyesight or cause vision loss. Excess blood sugar can cause nerve damage. Now, over time, high blood glucose levels damage the kidney filtering systems, allowing protein into the urine, a condition called microalbuminuria. Longer term, excess glucose consumption progresses to a condition known as diabetic nephropathy. As a result of diabetes complications, in severe cases, patients can experience kidney failure requiring dialysis or transplantation. So, now that we've looked at the microvascular complications that can arise from diabetes, we'll turn our attention to the macrovascular complications. For example, atherosclerosis, which is a hardening and narrowing of the arteries caused by increased sugar in the bloodstream. When this happens in arteries supplying the heart, it can cause coronary heart disease leading to heart attacks and angina. People with diabetes are two to four times more likely to have a heart attack than someone without the disease. In fact, Adults being treated for diabetes are just as likely to have a heart attack or stroke or die from cardiovascular causes as people who have had a prior heart attack. Second, high levels of fats such as cholesterol in the bloodstream of diabetics further increase the risk of heart disease. In the brain, atherosclerosis can cause diabetes patients to suffer a stroke. The risk of stroke among people with type 2 diabetes is already high at the onset of the disease. In fact, it's more than double that 
of the general population. So you see, type 2 diabetes can affect our bodies dramatically. Every 10 seconds, two people develop diabetes and one person dies from diabetes-related causes around the world. Innovative therapeutic options for type 2 diabetes are critical to help prevent these serious long-term health consequences. I hope my story has brought you a bit closer to me, the patient. Goodbye, and I wish you the best of health.